Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to the unboxing and first look at the Monport K40 laser engraver that is light burn ready. This video is sponsored by Monport and if you'd like to pick up one of these, there'll be links in the description. So to get started, I'll explain what this is. This is a 40 watt CO2 laser from Monport. So we're gonna open up this box and see what's inside. Uh, really great packaging. Uh, there's a box outside of that box that you actually saw and that really helps if there's any bumps or dings uh, in the packaging uh, or in the shipping, uh, I should say. And this is the K40 laser itself right here. Now this one uh, works with light burn, burn out of the box, which is really important because some of the competing lasers do not. And we'll talk about that in a subsequent video but we'll unwrap the uh, plastic here in a second. First, we're gonna take a look at the accessories. So the first thing we have here is a set of laser safety goggles. Now, I've always been told when you are operating a laser engraver to always close one eye. So if you have an accident, you still have another eye. But with these, you don't have to do that. You can just put these on and you'll be totally safe as you're using the laser. Next, we have our accessory pouch. Let's see what's in here. We have the user manual, the power cord. Looks like this one is a US power cord to IEC cable. We have a teeny tiny wrench that looks to be seven millimeters and five and a half millimeters. A USB-C to USB-A cable. Looks like some grease possibly here. Uh, we'll check in the user manual, see what this is for our gantry some tape here, fantastic. An exhaust clamp. A piece of acrylic, my guess is this is to uh, test the laser on. And then finally, a height gauge. This is really helpful because to get uh, the finest laser cut and where the laser is most efficient at cutting, you have to put this gauge in between the laser head and your material. So that's what this little piece is for. Well, Alex, I'm really excited to learn about this uh, laser here. Do you wanna open this up and maybe show me what we're looking at here from front to back? Absolutely, absolutely. Let's uh, take this plastic off here. Nice. All right, so right on the front here, uh, we have an emergency stop and it is in the stop position. This is fantastic. This will cut the power to the machine. Um, as Adam Savage from uh, Mythbuster said, if you have ever owned a uh, laser engraver, you've also started a fire. Okay. So at some point, something is gonna flame on and that's what this is for, to stop it immediately. Then we have our two temperature displays. Um, this display right here is for the power supply. Uh, so what this is going to do is have a temperature probe on the power supply. So if that gets too, uh, too hot, you can see it here. Then this is the water uh, temperature display. So in order to run these, you're going to need a water reservoir of some kind to cool that CO2 laser. And so we'll see what we have going on inside of here for that. But this is actually a temperature probe on the CO2 uh, laser itself so that if that starts to overheat because we have insufficient cooling, we can see that as well. Finally, we have an ammeter. Now this is something that you usually have to um, put on yourself. 
and this comes standard with it, which is fantastic. So what an ammeter does is it tells you the efficiency of your laser. So it tells you uh, the amperage that it's drawing. And why that's important is because when you have a brand new CO2 tube, you can be outputting that 40 watts in your laser software at anywhere from 30 to 40% power, hmm. right? Driving the laser harder actually doesn't give you any more output. But as the laser tube starts to age, it needs more power for the same output. So what this will tell you here is how much power that laser is drawing. And so as the lifetime of the laser goes on at that 30% mark, you'll start to see that drop. We can give it more power and get that same amount of efficiency in the laser cut. Well, that's awesome. Oh, thank you. So uh, what are some of the uh, features here on the back? Yeah, so on the back, on the back we have our power input, um, our ground wire um, here, which is uh, pretty important. Uh, water pump power, so this is actually just daisy chaining off of the 110 volt here. So we can plug our water pump in here and run it. You could also put a little air compressor on here if you decide to upgrade this machine in the future to use um, an air assist. Then over here, we have our exhaust fan that they call the smoke outlet. Mm -hmm. And then we have our water inlet and outlet. So both of these will connect to your water pump and your water outlet will go into your reservoir and the inlet will go into the pump and that will push water up and through the laser. So we can open up the top here and see what we find. Oh, there's more accessories in there, exciting. So we got some more foam. like we have a box labeled 110 volts. My guess is this is the water pump. And I am correct. So this right here, it comes with a water pump. So you don't need to buy an additional one with this uh, laser setup. And fittings for that water pump. Let's pull that out. So this is going to be our uh, ventilation tubing. So this will fit around our uh, smoke outlet here to wherever we're venting that smoke, ideally outdoors. Anything else in there? I think that was it. Looks like just the water tubing here. Fantastic. There's the water tubing. So I'll disconnect this right here like that. And then we should be able to pull those right out through the back. All right, so now we have our inlet and our outlet. We can connect the inlet to the water pump itself, and then the outlet will also go into your water reservoir. And then, uh, like I said earlier, what's really nice about this laser is there's an additional water pump power uh, outlet on the back so that you don't need to get a power strip or a surge protector. Well, that's convenient. The last thing here, it looks like, is we have a nice, um, protective window here that is probably, uh, well, we can see what, what kind of glass is behind there. We're going to use the wrench to take this off to take that protective coating off. Um, then it looks like we have some nice, we actually have li linear bearings on the Y axis and then a nice uh, V wheel with a, a cable chain here on the X axis. Uh, we also have a fantastic uh, laser pointer here, which will point at where our larger laser is going to fire. All right, so in order to see what's happening in your laser, we have to take the protective material off of this window. In order to, to do that, we're gonna loosen up these four bolts here with our included wrench. So I believe we're gonna be on the seven millimeter side. That is correct there. And these aren't very tight. And then carefully, we can pull the cover off here. We can see that there is protective film on each side. And to get this protective film off, we're just gonna use our fingernail. All right, 
So now we have our protective piece of material here. We can see it is this nice shade that will protect our eyes from the laser while we are watching it uh, engrave. So to install this, we're just gonna put it right back on. Like that, and put the nuts back on the bolts. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is to plug in the laser. Now we're not gonna run it, and I have to stress that uh, you should not run this laser without adequate exhaust and uh, adequate water flow with the water pump. But we're gonna plug it in to check out some of the features, including the built-in LED, the laser pointer, and we're also gonna uh, be able to see the ammeter working and open up the control um, section over here to check out what's inside. All right, and before we turn it on, we are gonna open up this uh, control area here just to see what kind of neat features Monfort has included. go. Fantastic. So we have a full emergency start stop button wired up to our on off button, our ammeter right here, our two battery powered temperature sensors, and then all of that going down into a nice power supply right here. Uh, and then all of the wiring, the limit switches, the uh, laser power itself, the laser pointer, um, the stepper motors for both X and Y, um, all of that is wired directly into this uh, light burn compatible motherboard right here, which then uh, is connected to a nice little USB port on the side. All right, let's uh, now turn it on here. Oh, good thing the emergency stop was in place. All right, so a couple of things just happened. You can hear the exhaust fan automatically kicks on. That's a fantastic feature because that means that you can never forget to turn the exhaust fan on. It will always go on once the laser starts up. And that exhaust fan actually has a really nice shroud right here that will suck in all of the smoke and fumes from whatever you are uh, laser engraving. Then we can see here we have our laser pointer and that is going to point directly at our material uh, so that we know where our laser is going to hit uh, when we are engraving. Uh, we can see we have the laser head here with a mirror pointing down. That shoots over to a mirror here, which then goes to a mirror back there, which is where the tube itself is. And then finally, we have some really nice LED lighting here that's nice and bright. I've seen other models where it's quite a bit dimmer, and that way we can see our entire workspace if this is in a garage or something like that. Well, Alex, that was a great walkthrough and look here at this uh, model. Uh, what's your initial thoughts on it? Yeah, so my initial thoughts on uh, unboxing and doing a quick overview of this laser is that this has all of the modern features that you'd want. When K40 lasers first came out, there was actually a power dial on the front, and that's the only way you could control the power of the laser. This one is fully light burn compatible, also has uh, our battery power temperature uh, readings on the front, full emergency stop, ammeter, uh, uh, automated LED, pointing laser, a smoke outlet, comes with a water pump, and all the accessories you need to get started engraving. Uh, it's an awesome deal, and if you're interested in picking one of these up, we'll have a code in the description down below. In our next video, we're actually going to show you how to plug this into Lightburn, how to set up your ventilation, uh, precautions for water cooling, uh, and then how to test, how to actually start laser engraving on your first object. Oh, well, Alex, I'm excited to get this set up in the workshop. It's gonna be pretty cool. See you next time. If you like this video, please check out Monport using the link below. And don't forget to use the discount code STARSHIP10 to save 10% off of your order. 
And currently there's a promotion for Monport's anniversary sale, and that will stack on top of the discount.